Hi, welcome to Life is Made. My name is Katie and this is Emily and today we're going to be making a present that is both environmentally friendly and a functional item. People these days are always talking about upcycling. Upcycling, for those of you who might have not heard of it yet, is when you take something from around your home that you might be thinking about getting rid of and repurpose it into something new. Uh, Katie is really good at coming up with these ideas and she has figured out a way to take a pillowcase and turn it into a reusable grocery bag. I picked up these pillowcases at my local Goodwill, but you can find pillowcases at a yard sale or any type of thrift store. To make the grocery bag, we're going to mark the pillowcase with two L's. You don't have to be super exact with these, you just sort of want them to end at the same point on either side. So you can sort of just follow that side and start again over here. Then we're going to just cut these two portions out of the pillowcase. And you can see how this is already forming into a bag. I don't know why somebody would have gotten rid of this pillowcase. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so lovely, isn't it? <laughs> now, we're just going to take our pillowcase, turn it inside out. First thing you're going to do is sew the top of the bag together. So, the next thing we're going to do, and you don't necessarily have to do this, um, we're going to hem the edges. But if you wanted to skip that step, you probably could. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an elastic band, and that allows the person who's using it to roll it up into a nice, neat little package. I just use hair bands. You can use elastic that you buy at a fabric store, but this is a cheap and easy way to do it. So with your bag turned inside out, about uh, two inches from the edge, just grab the end, take your scissors and just cut a very small hole out of the bottom, just like that. Now take your elastic band, and just poke it through the bottom of the hole and push it through so that you just have about this much of it poking through. Now, you're just gonna wanna sew that into the bag. You just sew straight across? Straight across. And what I like to do is flip it so it's going backwards now, just to really reinforce it so that it won't break. Later. So you just get a couple stitches there. So it's nice and reinforced. Pull it out. Now that you've got the uh, elastic band sewn into the bottom, you can turn your bag right side out. And you have this wonderful shopping bag. That is actually magic to me. Isn't I that do great? I don't know how you came up with this and idea. What makes it so neat? So then, you know, to roll the bag up, you're just going to fold it once, fold it again and fold it in half and just roll it. Take that elastic band that you sewed in, wrap it around. And so when you're done, you've got this great little package. That is awesome. I think this is something that even I could do. <laughs> now, for a complete gift, you can do four of these or five of these, however many you want to do. I did four. And you can make a little bag to put them in. You can use a bag that you've got sitting around the house or you could make your own bag, which I did with one of the pillowcases, and to make it really cute, you could stencil the word grocery on it. I love that. So I started the stencil here, and I'll just show you how to do it. I'll do the last two letters so that you can see how to do it. We've got our R and our Y. And you can just use some acrylic paint, an old sponge you've got sitting around the house, just cut a little square out of it. Uh, wet it first, and then you might want to have a paper towel handy, or dip your sponge in the paint and use your paper towel to just sort of blot some of the paint off. Now just hold your stencil steady and you're just going to lightly dab. And there we go. Now it says grocery. You can put your bags inside. Katie actually did this as Christmas gifts this last year I did. for a bunch of people. I did. I 
Man, it's such a good idea because everybody's eco-friendly now and wants to bring their grocery yeah. bags. But this is like super eco-friendly because it's not even like I mean, you're not upcycling. only you're upcycling the bags you're using, but then you're also not using plastic bags. Right, exactly. So there you go. It's a great little gift. Thanks, Katie. You're welcome. For instructions on how to make this grocery bag and other projects like it, you can find them on our website, lifeismadeblog.com. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, don't wait for life to happen. A, A good, good life, life is made. made.